What's up everybody, I'm Hoops and Hip Hop. Today we're continuing our weekly series of spooky themed videos that we'll be doing all throughout the month of October. As such, we are of course going to be talking about the ghost type, and the ghost type is easily one of the more interesting types in Pokemon. By extension, the trainers who train these ghost types are very interesting themselves, and we as fans have been lucky enough to be introduced to several throughout the years. Ghost type trainers are typically a bit eccentric by nature, so since we are currently in the middle of spoopy month, I thought it'd be fun to count down my top 5 favorite ghost type Pokemon trainers. Let's check it out. So my first pick at number 5 goes to Chantal of the Unova Elite 4. Unfortunately, she doesn't make a huge impression during her brief time you see her, but she's still a great trainer and certainly good enough to make the list. One thing I do like about her is that she's very into books. It's a distinct personality trait that you won't see in a whole lot of characters, and it's something that makes her, well, her. She becomes her own character with a trait like that, and that's something that I really enjoy. Plus, she's one of the cutest trainers out there in my opinion. Definitely waifu material, no question about it. Up next at number 4 is Phoebe of the Hoenn Elite 4, and I like her for the same reason I like Chantal, and that's for her character. Phoebe is especially unique being a ghost type trainer because while she uses ghost types, she doesn't sport the typical dark aesthetic you would expect from a ghost expert. In fact, she sports the exact opposite. Her personality is about as bright as her outfit, and I absolutely love that she can pull off being a ghost type trainer so well, despite having such a bright personality. I always love anything that's different or unique, and Phoebe does that with such a cheery personality, so she gets the number 4 spot. Continuing on to number 3, we're sticking with the same trend of appreciating distinct personalities with Acerola. Now Acerola is kind of like Phoebe, but with a twist. She sports the dark and dreary outfit, but that does not reflect her personality at all because she is as bubbly as they come. She's definitely a bit quirky as well, but that's what makes her so great. She also takes full advantage of the 3DS hardware because she's always sporting some type of goofy look on her face that will make you crack a smile, and it's really refreshing to see that kind of emotion being able to be expressed by a character in-game. Now obviously personality is going to be a big factor when discussing your favorite non-Pokemon characters, but just like with Phoebe, I love Acerola because her personality is what pops for her. She doesn't look like she'd be a bubbly or goofy character, but she is, and that's what I love about her. Now we're getting into my real favorites with my runner-up pick, Morty. So Morty is obviously a different sort of character than my last couple of picks, but the thing that makes him so great for me is similar to why I like Phoebe and Acerola, and that's because being a ghost type trainer isn't his entire identity. Yes, he does train ghost types, but he also has that cool guy personality going on that somehow blends really well with his role as a ghost type gym leader. I also love that he's essentially the guardian or leader of Ecruteague City, because Ecruteague is my favorite city in Johto, and when you blend all of these factors together, a cool guy who trains ghost types and is the leader of a city with so much history, you get a character who is an unexpectedly amazing mix of so many fascinating things, and he's easily one of my more favorite trainers of all time. And my number one pick is a bit of an ironic one because she is the exact opposite sort of character than my previous picks, and that would be the original ghost type master, Agatha of the Kanto Elite 4. Now obviously my trend here has been that I enjoy the characters who aren't your typical ghost type trainer, so why is probably the most typical ghost type trainer of them all my number one pick? Two words, her backstory. Agatha was once close friends with Professor Oak when they were young Pokemon trainers, but they had some sort of falling out and not only did their relationship suffer, but Agatha herself turned into a bitter old woman. Fans have been fascinated by this little bit of backstory for years and have been dying to see it explored, but it has never been touched. I think the most poetic thing about Agatha though is that she is literally a ghost of who she used to be when she was friends with Oak, and that's why she is such a fascinating ghost type trainer and my personal favorite ghost type trainer of them all. And there you have it! Honestly, I'm not a horror fan or anything, but I love the Halloween season and getting to get into the spooky mood and talk about all this awesome stuff, so I hope you guys are enjoying the spooky videos and are looking forward to more. 
If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button and make sure you let me know in the comments who your favorite ghost type Pokemon trainer is. Also, make sure you subscribe if you're new so you can check out the rest of my Halloween themed videos as well as the rest of my Pokemon content. Finally, I haven't mentioned it in a little while, but I do have a Patreon where you can support the channel and get some awesome exclusive benefits as well, so check that out if you'd like to support the channel, and until the next one, as always, I will smell you guys later.